All right, welcome back to another Koenji Sean Reviews. And I am down here at Village Vanguard in Koenji, down the road from my house, late at night, to see what they've got. So let's take a look around, and if they have something nice, I will pick it up. Uh, this is the new release table. We have the 30-year anniversary edition of Usamaru down there, you know, Lychee Light Club, but it's an art book. Um, in Tonko Bone form. Evolve, Volume 3, I have that. I've read 1, 2, and 3. I can't wait for 4 to come out. Atsushi Kaneko's best work yet. So I'm really looking forward to finishing up that series as they come out. I don't read a lot of new stuff, mostly by old retro stuff, but that one's great. Uh, Chino Wadachi or Blood on the Tracks. I see you all over there in America. You love that series. I've read up to like volume seven, I think I have. I'll finish it someday. It's nighttime down here and I thought, you know, maybe I can sneak out with this Otomo stand-up for his Otomo The Complete Works series, which I did a video on. It's on here, so take a look at that. I go through Domu and I go through Akira Storyboards 1. They still have some copies of... Domu here, you can see the orange right here down below, and that posters Otomo Katsuhiro Times graphic design, 131 posters is what I picked up while I was here, so I'll show you that at the end of the video. But see, they have Domu, but they have no more copies of Akira Storyboards 1, which makes me think it's ultra popular, which makes me also think that I might have to buy 2 and 3, because I know they're going to release 3 of them in total. This is the KC series of Akira. I have all of those. Tribute to Otomo down there. A bunch of these toys. I always think I'll pick them up, but I am a manga hoarder, not a manga toy hoarder. Although I do have some manga toys in Sofubi. Um, Terara. Katsuya, I've been meaning to pick this up forever, Sketch. But rather than buying it new, I want to find it in great condition, used cheap. So I am holding out for the time being. And I've been really into Matsumoto Taiyo again recently. That coffee cup is sick. Um, I'm rereading five right now. I'm on volume four. It's great. It's great. I picked up uh, Tokyo Higoro, the bird right there, but I haven't read it yet. And you know, Sunny, I'd like to get that, the Matsumoto Taiyo book up there about him. Irene, I have those. Um, this section here, uh, Atsushi Kaneko. I have everything he's put out in physicals except Bambi. Um, I've read it digitally. I have volumes one and two. I need to pick up the rest of them. But again, I'm waiting to get those used because they pop up. He's like pretty much everywhere. You can see it, find them here and there. So eventually I'll finish out my... Atsushi Kaneko collection with those two. And Rock and Roll, his very first release I like to get. But last time I saw it, it was for $2,000. Hmm. And I've seen it as cheap as $15. This here is the Junji Ito section. So all the new stuff. I have that complete 10 volume set right here. Those are thick. Those are kind of the omnibus 10 volume collection. I find Junji Ito everywhere. And I prefer to get the old Tonko Bones of his stuff, but for newer stuff, like I can see Gyo there, I have Sensor, I have. Um, ooh, Takayama Tatari down there. And some Hino Hideshi. Kago Shinichi. Wait, no, Koga Shinichi. What was that Koga Shinichi? What? I was thinking of Kago Shintaro. Um, here we have No Longer Human. I have I have that three Tonko Bones set, but to be honest with you, uh, I think I quit reading towards the end of two. Eh, I don't know. Uh, Venus in the Blind Spot right there. That's a great one. And this is the Ero Guro section. So a bunch of Maruo Suehiro. And Maruo's covers are always awesome. The big debate is always if you had to choose Maruo Suehiro or Hanawa Kazuichi. And I want to say I lean a little bit more towards Hanawa. I have 
probably equal amounts of both, but you gotta love Maruro. Kago Shintaro. Yeah, the thing with Maruro though is you can get nice big volumes in A4 size or hardcover uh, over at Mandarake, so and find them online and stuff. Lychee Light Club. I just did a video on Furuya Usamaru's uh, Parapori a couple weeks back, so check that out. That one's a fun one. Lots of references to other mangaka and manga, so check that out. It's up here on the YouTube. And I'm looking at Maruo again because the covers are so dope. Kyusaku's cover is also sweet. Uh, this is the Gurume section or the Gourmet section. Of course, everyone loves Midnight Diner. And uh, what else do we have here? Um, I, I, I don't read a lot of Gourmet or comics, but I love the shows. So like Kino Nani Tabita, what did you eat last night? I don't know the English title, but I loved I the lady and I binged this. Such a cute show. Love the show. There's some Seno, famous for Kitaku Akabane, but he also does some gourmet stuff as well. And he does some ghost hunting stuff. But I lived in Akabane at one point, so I love Tokyo To Kitaku Akabane. It's a great series. And some other stuff in here. Eh, if there's something in there you're interested in, let me know. More Blood on the Tracks. I'm going to finish out that series at some point. I don't, I mean, they're still releasing them, so it's not finished yet. Maybe I'll wait till it finishes and then pick up the rest of the volumes. Jojo! So, Dore Doro, I love. I've never read one of the manga, only watched the anime series. Loved it. Just loved it. But I'll probably never pick up all of the Tonkobon because there's so damn many, but I really do love that series. Here's some Mangataro. I have every Mangataro. I think I'm missing just like one Tonkobon of something. Mitokon 6 or something like that, which I see there. I saw there. Um, to finish out the collection, I have more Mangataro than any mostly white man in the world. Sorry, I'm also Filipino, so... Uh, if you don't believe me, battle me. I have tons of Mangataro videos up here on the YouTube as well. Uh, Jojo is another one. I've, I, I love watching Jojo, the anime, while I'm working out in the mornings, but I have never read a manga. And maybe someday I will, but man, the anime series is fun. Joseph Joestar is silly, man. God, he's silly. And I can't wait to get to... This, the series with the with the female Jojo. It's going to be dope. Some Doraemon, because why not? It's Doraemon. Why wouldn't you? And this section over here, more Doraemon, and we have all of the Tezuka Osamu stuff, which I would never buy new. You can find it dirt cheap, used. If you want the Tonkobon, there's Ayako, Unico. See, like, Unico has a hardcover out in A4 edition. I'd much rather have that. It's a two-volume set, I believe. Um, I've been kind of waiting to pick that up. Waiting to find it cheap again, you know. Um, Dororo I have. Eh. Tezuka is so heavily printed here, you can pick them up cheap. And Hinotori Phoenix up there is a great set. There's another Ayako in the big volumes. Uh, Banana Fish, another one that ne I never read. Watched some of the anime, gave up. I know you all love it, but I don't know. Some, some things that everyone loves just don't, you know, tickle my fancy, so to speak. Um, you know, some of the stuff here. Oh, okay, so... That's shoujo stuff. In this corner is the BL section. Uh, I don't really collect BL, but I have friends that do and the friends that uh, publish and release BL stuff. So I thought I'd show you the corner over here. And if you know anything about some of these titles, let me know in the comments because I know nothing about the BL genre. Um, the lady, she's translated a bunch of them. So 
she knows much better than I do. But it's dope they have that section. And here is Monkey Peak up there on the right with the red lettering. I did a video on that once too. So if you want to learn about Monkey Peak and the connection to Yokai, then uh, check that video out. It's pretty good. And let's take a look at Otomo Katsuhiro's posters that I picked up. All right, let's take a look inside of posters. Otomo Katsuhiro times graphic design. This is not the original 20 posters that came out, which actually I think had more than 20 posters in it, but it wasn't very long, maybe 28 pages long. Um, this one has 130 Otomo Katsuhiro poster reproductions, plus a special Akira bonus poster, which we'll look like at at the end of this video. This is just a sticker on the wrapping, which I want to save. So let's get this off of here. And uh, we'll take a look at the inside of this. Um, by the way, I uh, originally recorded this with audio. But the audio turned out kind of poorly, so I'm voice recording over this right now. So if it seems a little bit off or trippy, um, you are not high. Uh, that was just me trying to voice record over something I recorded earlier. Um, I picked this up for about 5,400 yen, around 5,000 yen. I see it online uh, used anywhere between 4,500 and 7, 8,000 yen. So... Whether you get it new or used, I could probably resell it right now for more than 5,000 yen. I don't see it out in the wild that often. Um, underneath the dust cover here, we can see the cover. Let's just take a look at the whole dust cover because the dust cover is a piece of art in itself. So here we have the front cover and back cover. And the inside of the dust cover is sick. All these sick clips, cuts from Akira the movie. Trying to balance proper lighting and reduce glare is difficult. At any rate... Uh, the cover. So this is, I don't know if this is Shinjuku Station or Shibuya Station, but I suspect it's one of the two. You can't really read it here on the train platform sign. But uh, his recently released complete works were advertised all over Shinjuku and Shibuya Station. So uh, Steam Boy here probably was as well, because Otomo has budget. Unlike most mangaka. Um, some sketches here in the beginning. I like this, how the intro is in Japanese and English. I see this with art books, but I usually don't see anything like this done with, you know, manga in general. First, we have movie, which should be movies, but I shall forgive Otomo this one time. So the classic Akira posters. There's a lot of Akira stuff in this book. This, this is my favorite cover. So forebo foreboding, so dark. It's like saying the end of the world is coming. That is very cool. Like the world opening up or something. He does have great layout sense. Kaneda and Tetsuo, of course. This is a great two page spread, but the crack. It's kind of, kind of hiding Kaneda's face, but what can you do? 
I don't like to deconstruct my books, but man, this would be a good one. to. There's a lot of stuff in here that would be sweet to frame, but I am not going to do that. I like also that they have international posters in here and not just the Japanese posters. I know this is available in English or available in, you know, English speaking markets, but I don't know if it was altered at all. I should go back to the kayfabe video or one of those videos and see a flip through. Plenty of people have done flip throughs of this, so G Shock. The colors here are just so sick. This is one of my, the bl blue and green image on the right, one of my favorites. Very cool. That's just a little anketo, a little questionnaire card. Here's a little advert for short piece, which is cool. I rewatched this just last week. And I forgot how good the Shidoguma, uh, the polar bear story was, and the story about the samurai seamstress, sewer, sewing man. This is really good. This is the poster, which I'll show you at the end of the video. Tetsuo. I remember seeing uh, Kayfabe talk about this, the cover on the right here of volume two of the KC release and how, how shitty they thought that cover was. <laughs> it's not the best cover. It's not as good as this, you know, the canal scene, but eh, it's not that bad. All right, now we're getting into the Young Magazine stuff. Likely advertisements for the upcoming releases in the back of Young Magazine. I like this, the kind of newspaper looking thing. Not that there's going to be any newspapers printing newspapers after the end of the world, but <laughs> what can you do? That one, the pink one, International Kokusaiban Akira. So another international one. I really like this cover, the this collage on the right. This really pops. That's uh, sweet. Tetsuo floating in space. Hirata Hiroshi's famous calligraphy that he did for Otomo and Akira. R.I.P. Yeah, that calligraphy there. Um, passed away last year. Hirata Hiroshi, I mean. Not Otomo, of course. I like this poster on the left uh, because it's the manga panels. And we're finally out of Akira and on to other movie m movies. Uh, memories, which I haven't seen for 10 years, so I should go back and rewatch that as well. The poster design is sick, though. You see a lot of uh, Satoshi Kon parallels there from 
his work with Otomo. Steam Boy, I mean, it's okay, you know, very steampunk. I dug it, but I mean, it's not something I'm really looking forward to going back and revisiting anytime soon. I mean, it's good though. 2005, I can't believe it's been that long since Steam Boy came out. Absolutely animation. And short piece. See, there's the Shiroguma or the polar bear. Just love it. Who fights the Oni or the demon terrorizing the villagers. Genma Taisen. a sick two-page spread and there's nothing lost in the crack unlike the one of Kaneda on the throne uh, Spriggan uh, on the left there the Rojin Z or Rojin Z I believe that image is from Kaba, Robot Carnival. I really like the, the cover. And of course, he did work on live action stuff as well. So this section has, you know, World Apartment Horror or other movie posters that he did lay out on or did behind the scenes work on that were, you know, these live action features. Mushishi. 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 Which I never saw, so. Hmm. Books. <clears throat> Short piece, that's a great cover. Love the colors, love the layout of the girl's face in those kind of pastel -y colors. This is very Mizuki Shigeru. Style-wise. And Domu. I recently did a video on the newest release of Domu since the Otomo Complete Works just came out. So go check out that video if you haven't seen it already. I do a flip through of Domu, the new release, and of Akira Storyboards 1 which has already disappeared from every bookshop in my neighborhood. Domu's still around, but the Akira storyboards are gone. These are sick, kind of 3D looking stuff from Domu. And this is, of course, the Danchi as a floating cube, Kaba, which I've been looking for. But, you know, if I find it cheap, it's usually in poor condition. If I find it in good condition, it's usually quite expensive. So I'm holding out until I come across one more young magazine. The colors here, Say Hey, Weekly Young Magazine. The colors and the layout is just amazing. This was supposed to be a short flip through. Sorry, everyone, but once I start going, I guess I just can't stop. Figured if I was going to flip through it, I might as well flip through every page. But there's other videos out here on this poster's release that go into more detail about the art than I do here. Um, Brutus. Cool Japan was a tourism campaign that was run. And of course, pre-COVID. And uh, Otomo was commissioned to do posters and adverts and stuff for it. You can see all these advertisements are by pretty big companies. As we'll see in the... Or those... Uh, works. Artworks, the classic bubblegum. Here we have the classic MC Escher reimagining the robot from Kaba. These are all Kaba images.
there's the, the cover of Kaba. Genga, the art book. Here's the remastered version of the MC Escher image. And then over here on the right, we have the cover to Sayonara Nippon. I have the tonko bone of that. I love that cover. The cover compared to the story, a bit deceiving though. This is pretty sick. Bakuon. Advertising. This is for Ta Tawa Haka. Um, I don't know. Was Tower Hacker a ride at an amusement park? Or was it a mansion opening event? I don't know. Techno Festa. Um, Lunar Park. So these are all things he was commissioned for. And these are all huge events because otherwise you would not be able to afford Otomo. Tokyo Game Show 97. Um, Cycle Mode International um, Bikes were really popular 10 years ago here I mean they're always popular But you know like pissed bikes uh, Track bikes and stuff like that My favorite town Kichijoji Kichijoji is right west of my Neighborhood of Koenji And that was for the grand opening of Atre The, the Shopping area Bape Gallery Tokyo, Bape the brand, um, that's of course the old man from Domu. And this one on the right here is Bakuon, a music festival. Huh? No, maybe it's some sort of event. Huh? I don't know. Like the colors, colors are sick. I actually have a lot of retro magazines, manga magazines, uh, uh, science fiction magazines, uh, men's magazines, uh, S&M magazines. Oh, we, I got a bunch of weird stuff. And I know this Canon ad is in the back of one of them and I cannot find it. But I have seen that one in the wild. Ube dog, probably some robot dog thing. Um, another G-Shock ad. I like this, how everyone, even the robot or the samurai or the zombie are wearing a G-Shock. It's cool. And packages or packaging. If you're going to say advertising, you might want to say packaging. If you're going to say books, you might want to say movies. But this is my life. There's the boxes for the G-Shock watches that look so sick. Um, I might just go online after recording this and, uh, yeah, take a look to see if I can find one of those. All the box sets for DVDs and stuff. And here we have uh, an interview with Otomo. by Uesugi. And first in Japanese and in English as well. And you know, it's kind of formatted like separated by theme and uh, title. Now that I'm doing voiceover, I can't read this text while I'm doing it. There's a short piece cover that's sick. Kaisatsu, some summaries. And they have them in English too. It's again, like this is particular to art books. And here in the back, we have notes, you know, dates and everything on each of the posters. And let's take a look at the poster. And here is the bonus poster that came with the book. I think I might frame this. Anyways, thanks to all of you that sub, like, and share. You really help me get 
my weird content out there by subbing. And if you want more content like this, go over to my Patreon page, Koenji Sean Reviews, where the wild stuff is. And until next time, everyone, matane. Thank you.